Our best wishes. Joe Biden, meanwhile, lashing out at President Trump, the former VP, saying, quote, it's one of the most dangerous times in modern history. I think that there have always been voices in our country, particularly in the 19th and 20th century in Europe, that have always tried to take advantage of pain and change. Do you think Trump really cares about the kids I grew up with in Scranton, Pennsylvania, as far as their economic well-being? Here to react, our panel. Fox News contributor, former Trump Hispanic Advisory Council member, Steve Cortez, and former Obama State Department spokesperson, Fox News contributor, Marie Harf. Good morning to both of you. Uh, Good Marie, morning, Ed. I want to start with you because you were at the State Department in the Obama mm -hmm. days. We all know that. Uh, and when Vice President Biden is out there saying there's never been a more dangerous time, what exactly did the Obama administration do to lessen the threat, say, from North Korea? Well, I thought from those comments, Ed, that he wasn't necessarily talking about national security threats, mm -hmm. although I'm happy to talk about those, <laughs> sure. too. I think he was talking about the fact that our country feels to many people on both sides of the aisle like we're really divided politically in a way many of us, you know, many historians say we haven't seen since the Vietnam War. So I think what he was talking about is this rise of national, you know, ultra-nationalism, mm -hmm. looking, you know, inward and not playing a leading role around the world and really propagating some pretty nasty things during the 2016 campaign. I think that's what he was referring to that, and look, poll numbers bear this out. People are sick and tired of the politics in our country. We had a segment earlier about how you can get through Thanksgiving with people <laughs> who disagree with you. There are polls that people don't want to live next to people of a different <laughs> political party. We are in a really difficult place right now, and I think that's what the former vice president was talking about. Steve, how do you see it? You know, uh, well, first let me say, Joe Biden, uh, he's been in Washington, D.C. so long that he's not just a swamp creature. He's actually a swamp fossil. Uh, he was elected oh. the year oh. I was born. He was elected the year I was born, and I'm not young, Ed, okay? I'm <laughs> yeah. 45 I was going to say, old. come on, that's, look who's talking. <laughs> that's when he was elected to Washington, D.C. So he's the personification of the swamp and everything that's wrong with the political class in this country. I agree, by the way, with Marie, that our country is deeply divided, as divided as it's been, in fact, in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. But I put the blame for that on the previous president and, frankly, on George W. Bush, because what we've had so far in this century is slow growth for the average American worker in terms of wages no growth. Yeah. On top of that, we've had the Democrats exploiting identity politics to the hilt. And okay. I think those two forces have combined into an incredibly divided okay. country. But let's push the conversation forward then. If you both agree that, look, we're, we're so divided. Marie, uh, you mm -hmm. were at the State Department when you had delicate negotiations where you're trying to get Americans freed from prison in a country yeah. like China. This just happened with three UCLA basketball players. Uh, mm -hmm. President Trump pressures the Chinese government to get them free. They come home. They're safe. Thank Hopefully they're not going to spend 10 years mm -hmm. in a Chinese prison. And LeVar Ball, the loudmouth dad, we all know him, uh, <laughs> right, uh, the basketball dad, he says President Trump didn't do anything. I don't know nothing about him. Who? What was he over there for? Don't tell me nothing. Everybody wants to make it seem like he helped me out. As long as my boy's back here, I'm fine. I'm from L.A. I've seen a lot of worse things happen <laughs> than a guy taking some glasses, talking about the shoplifting. Has it gotten so bad, Marie, that Democrats have Trump derangement syndrome and can't even say... Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Well, here, I'm going to shock you. I will uh -huh. say something nice about President Trump. It was right for him to raise this case. I'm glad he did it, and I'm glad he got these basketball players home. But look, this father probably shouldn't have said this. He should have probably been a little more grateful. But the tone starts at the top. Mm -hmm. And President Trump on Twitter, in interviews, will attack anyone he sees is going after him. He has set a tone that has brought our politics down significantly, going after Gold Star families, going okay. after his, you know, everyone under the sun right, in let's really Steve nasty terms. Steve, fair question. You know, Doesn't I the president set the tone? Uh, you know, he does set the tone. And look, I, I will uh, say, again, in a d deeply divided country that our politics have become very confrontational. Uh, that's just the reality. I think the way to heal, by the way, is stop focusing on, on identity politics and start mm -hmm. focusing on what unites us as Americans and economic growth. So right. I believe the president will do that healing work. LeVar Ball, when he sits down yeah. for his turkey on Thursday, he should give thanks that we have a commander in chief who went to bat for his son and for other young Americans uh -huh. who made a silly mistake. Yeah. And I'm glad that the son, by the way, it, it wasn't like father 
like Sun because yeah. the Sun did he thanked graciously the president. thank the president. Yeah, let me say something yes. nice about Marie, by the way, because she said something, <laughs> which is that I met her dad a few months ago in Washington. Very nice guy. And as I remember, he doesn't always agree with you politically. So what's Thanksgiving like for you? I got 10 seconds. Look, Thanksgiving is great. We are, we are all uh, going to sit around the table this year and talk about the things we agree on, how happy we are to live in this country, <laughs> how lucky we are. All I right. think we can all agree on that, right, Ed? Yes, and we're thankful, Amen. That we, Amen. we're thankful we have Marie and Steve in the Fox family. Thank you. It's Thanks getting so down to crunch time for Congress.